Hello and welcome back to Snack Play Love on YouTube. We haven't done very many videos for a while, mainly because I haven't been drafting all that much and I've just been playing standard in the background. But what have I been playing, I hear you ask? Um, well, this 66 card monstrosity. Um, if curses are in standard, I'm going to be playing curses. That's just who I am. Oh, I can apply some stars. Let's do that. Um, yay. Um, and the thing that seemed to be missing from my red blue curses deck was the ability to play the curse of leeches consistently. So, because treasures allow you to do that, I put the gold span dragon in, and it turned out that's a pretty good win con. So, prior to the um, I can't remember what they call it now, the championship they had where the gold span dragon deck took everything down, I had started to slowly build a um. Two Moon Veil, two Imistrum, two Goldspan deck. I've since taken one of those out because the black isn't as reliable as I'd like it. And I ended up with a 666 cursed deck. Um, and it seems to do all right. It's taken me up to platinum with very little effort. I think part of that is because of my ELO ranking being so low. Um, we've only got one Smoldering Egg in here at the moment. I thought we got two of those because that's a very good card. Um, but there isn't that much that you can cut that has no effect. Um, we're playing too many lands in that we're playing Seagate Restoration for two reasons, which we will probably see at some point. The first reason is you can get to seven mana and you can draw a lot of cards, which is nice. The second reason is you can discard this, usually to the Cletus, the Celestus. Um, it goes into the graveyard and then you can Draconic Intervention for seven doing seven damage to all non-dragon creatures, and then you win. But at the moment, I've only got one of those in as well, because, oh, let's see if I've got a second copy for a start. No, that's why, I've only got one copy. Should we craft one for the video and really unbalance everything? See, I'm not entirely sure what I should be taking out. So if you are one of the many, many one of the, the few people that have actually popped into the stream, um, do put things in chat that you think I could change. Burn Down the House is brilliant against the aggro decks, as is Draconic Intervention. Uh, Dragon's Fire, though, usually takes care of them. Curse of Shaken Faith has turned out to be fairly bad, apart from the fact that it powers up Curse of Surveillance to make you draw loads of extra cards and is less easy to kill than the Curse of Leeches. Essentially, Bloodthirsty Adversary is amazing, meaning that you can cast all of your instants and sorceries from the graveyard, a la Snapcaster, but Snapcaster on um, steroids because you're casting one or two. Because you're casting multiple things in a turn, you're flipping the Celestus and you're doing all the werewolf things that the werewolf decks seem to struggle to do, which is quite interesting. But let us try. There's a very good chance that we'll lose horribly because that's what usually happens when I do these long introductions. If I do a short introduction and just jump straight in, I don't want that. No, probably not. I keep trying to flip into the um, 750s. But they don't send you the email saying that you've got the um, 750s and you've got the most gold out of all your friends for the format now. So it's kind of disappointing. Uh, hmm. So this is our second, third game in Platinum. I remember I just happened to be playing it in bed last night and hit platinum and was like, oh, okay, fair enough. So we're lacking the blue for the Fading Hope. If you've got a Seagate Restoration in your hand to start with, it is a tapped land, as is this. As will this be if um, we, we um, get far enough up. But... Ooh, that sounds quite loud. I'm going to turn it down from my end. But hopefully that's not ridiculously loud for um, the rest of you. I don't care about the Shambling Ghast. In fact, now that's tapped as well, so I should have played that, shouldn't I? I'm just not with it. I need to drink more tea. So that's Lightning Bolt, right? Oh, it's either Scry Removal or Lightning Bolt, isn't it? Um, I think it's worth doing. They probably want to stack it. No, they can't. Then with the bugbear, 
go. So that's four mana to make it. So we didn't get to put Celestis down, which is a shame. That gets the nice one, doesn't it? Um, did we just try and hit them? That's a 4-4. Four, four. We know it's a 4-4. Four, four. Well, I think we just have to try and hit them. We haven't drawn any of that interesting cards yet, which is unfortunate. Um, yep. Sky removal. So if there's any turns where we don't play a thing, it becomes um, nice. Which is unfortunate because we would quite like to not play a thing this turn. Uh, we can fading hope the thing. I reckon we just attack. Oh no! I forgot that you got a bonus as well as me. So, this is the opponent saying they have an instant. Unless this costs less to. No. Yeah, in theory they could be that, that's their activation trigger. And we've been the mountain that they've seen. See if they attack with it. They probably do. Oh, that's interesting. Um, keeping off the treasures. Their deck is actually surprisingly similar to mine, but... Um, they're black based instead of blue based. So chances are... I mean they could be splashing for the um, blue treasure. You've got two mana. Not proof. Interesting. Um, probably don't need the blue. Draw a turn. Cross boy. Turn another mountain. Do we want to flip it. Because that's a 3 2. Hmm. I don't have the dragon, which is unfortunate. That will work, won't it? Yeah. I don't know why that took so long to figure out. Math is hard. Uh, so now they have to decide whether they really want to swing in. What does this one do? Three damage target player and we discard. It's fine. We're okay with the leeches. Eventually we might draw some benefit to us. Deluge. Um, we're on eight mana, so we can do that, can't we? No, because if we attack, we can't. Uh, we need the card advantage. Oh, what's he doing? So he's offering the trade. So we could deluge instead. Do we mind trading that? Because in theory, if we trade, we can't cast anything this turn. I think we just do that. Suspicious spellway is amazing, but right now, ooh, they're playing the rock. Where's that that from? Come on, man. 
Well, we are bleeding to death, and that is unfortunate. Um, probably shouldn't have attacked there, should we? I was thinking that unless we cast something else, we would get um, hit by the leech, but no. Oops. Wow. So, the first Curses game, we lose to Curses. Well, one Curse, anyway. I think the Black Curse is the best Curse. Um, but I should have left the gold spam back. That's me. Maybe it's not a good day to be playing Magic. Maybe I'm um, distracted by other things. Welcome to our viewer. Um, please feel free to say hi in chat. Um, yeah. <laughs> Definitely say hi in chat if my audio levels are all over the place, because that's usually what happens. Usually we um, end up with... Um, I didn't change the title of the stream, did I? See, this is this is me being all over the place. How can I do this on the, um, the funny little thing? Is it configured? Yeah. I genuinely have no idea how to change the stream title. Right. Um, we need two or more other lands. We don't have that, but I'm going to keep it because we've got the potential. We are just messing about anyway. Yeah. I can't see how I change what the stream title is. I don't even know what the stream title is right now. The stream title is Enlightened Loses to Very Similar Decks in Ranked Mode. So the basic plan of this deck, really, is to overwhelm them with the massive value cards like the Seafaring Werewolf, which should be a pirate, um, but is not. I think they have to go red here, and then that's tapped, unless we draw something else. <sighs> I haven't got it set up to do other things while my opponent's roping me. That's unfortunate. Oh, no, we're, we're on, we're on, we're on. Red. Go. Yep. Maybe they didn't realise that they were going first. So we didn't get the land, and then it's tapped. They're playing Black Snow, which is good. Ha! Huh. Who says we're playing Storybook Thor? Oh, we're not. We're playing MTGA. It's really not working. Right. Oh, discard a card. Um, we don't have anything we wanted to discard. So that's five damage straight. That probably will dig us out of something. I think it's the adversary. Um, let's get the spell away down. Because at least if we're not playing stuff now, we can flip. Blocks. Hey, we've got colours now. Do we want to discard any of these things? We probably do. Uh, Secrets of the Key is an easy discard. Enter. 
So what does it say? Um, you lose one life. Don't care about that. Um, number of creatures in the party. So we've got rogues. So do we kill their cleric? I think. If they're playing card advantage, we probably show them the dragon's fire. Because we're looking to burn down the house once they've... Um... Well, no, 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 not. Let's draw. See what we get. Because two. The chances of being able to burn is very high. Give them away. Hello. You're black and you can't destroy enchantments. <sighs> so now we're drawing two cards a turn. Which is good. They think they're the beat down. That's good. Fine with that. Can we have an untapped land, please? Thank you. Can't do much about that, boss. See, this is why Seagate Restoration, Seagate Reborn is very good. Um, now, do we want to draw even more cards per turn? Or do we want to just start smacking you? Because we need some legit removal for that. Because my prediction is that they are playing the blood on the snow because they're playing snow covered swamps, and that is the only snow covered swamp thing. Ah, yeah. Second copy of Soul Shatter in there in the top 13 card. Nice. Ooh. So we're basically dead here. Because we could draw loads of cards, but that would not do anything. It amuses me that we've been discarding and yet we're way up. Oh, discard again. So, what does this do? Discards a permanent card, you can put it onto the graveyard, into the thing. And we've only got one non-permanent card. So I think we lose. So I'm going to just... Is this like the second card this turn? Three? Yes, because of the Soul Shatter. So it will change back. So we'll give them the Storm Chaser and Curse of Leeches. See what happens. Mainly showing them the deck here. Probably should have held off one turn with the Sweeper, but... Oh, I thought we got enough of the card advantage. Target yourself, target yourself. See, we really are in the Platinum Gaming now. Oops. So, um, we can draw two cards. Why my angels gift? Um, why do you think I can cast that? Weird. Huh. 
sure we don't lose? Depending on what they attack with. Yeah, I suppose all they have to do is attack with the um, little guy. So, we're bouncing that because we can block the other one. We're losing to some quite basic decks today. I, I warned, well, I, I casually mentioned to my friend that this might happen. That, you know, you start to go public and you start to say, yeah, this, this deck's fairly robust against the meta game. Yeah. It doesn't matter that it's 66 cards because we're drawing so much. Yeah. Oh, oh look, we're losing. We're, lo we're losing all the games. But oh, that's what happens. At least you get to see the cards. At least you get to see how it works. Um, I do think there needs to be a lot more cheap things in the deck purely because um, now we're going up in the ranks. This is another awkward keep. Um, I mean, I know I'm automatically keeping everything because I usually play limited, but, or best of one limited specifically. Oh look, cheap stuff. Hooray. Um, we kind of need the black, but we've got that. So that can be our red and that can be our blue. Sequencing, sequencing is hard. I'm being asked whether I am winning. And the reply is no law. No law. Genuinely think we have a chance with this one. I mean, at the moment, there's a 1 in 22 chance of drawing. In fact, where's all my overlays gone? Weird. Um, 1 in 22 chance of the, the sweeper appearing as any given random card. But in fact, that's three in fifty-seven. What? Oh, one in twenty. <laughs> These are not epiphany decks, and yes, I'm still losing. Correct. Um three. So we can finally play that. Do we want the life gain? No, we need this. So now he's going to make at least one of his things a four. One assumes, anyway. Now, do they have a one cost spell? They do, of course they do. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Yeah, I thought you might. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. So we can get to four. I don't think we're winning this evening. Yay, put one counter on the egg. We're definitely winning now. We're just dead on board. Yeah, I wonder if they can spot that. I wonder if this person playing the low to the ground mono white deck Ooh. Well, they'd run out of stuff. See, I was being sarcastic in saying that the mono white player would automatically spot the fact that I'm dead. Because, like, I block here, and I'm taking five. And if I block there, then I take another six, which means I'm dead. I don't get it. <coughs> I was going to say, I could top deck a sweeper, but what, what, what? I mean, I could just draw a card. Um, yeah, 
I think we have to draw a card. Now let's do this good attacking. Because this turn they should have that frost dragon. So they probably only attack with two flyers. I mean, I could have had any of the cheap spells. Oh no, it's got vigilance now. Does that mean you can't use your dragon? Oh, they couldn't use it anyway. It's five to activate. It was a good game last turn. That does amuse me when you lose to people who are not quite playing properly. It's like, uh, I'm sure this all helps though. It lowers my um, ELO and um, I will gradually get easier and easier matches like all the good YouTubers, so that you can see the video of me winning three games in a row with my jank deck, even though um, I had to lose 50 games to get there. We're not even doing our quests. That's most upsetting. That's why there was a different deck in the deck slot when I turned on, because um, this doesn't match up with the colors. I ended up with all green, white, um, well, green, white, black things, which did not help at all. Ugh. Well, we've got the blue. I'm going to play tapped blue. Hey, I'm in a vacuum. I'm just going to put that out there. That needs to die. Oh, well, we've had things to do on all of our turns so far. Can't kill that with fire. Oh, wait, we just need more fire. I'm playing suboptimally and just doing everything on my turn because I can't be asked. Um, yeah. Hey, look, we've got things to do for everything now. Um, white can deal with curses. That's quite sweet because it gives us the um, double trigger on the surveillance. Because the idea is that you basically kill all your things with burn down the house at the same time as you're killing all theirs, which, ooh, Ooh. Oh, it's only creatures. Oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe for the constructed version, we want um, to be able to bounce those as well. Interesting. I'm fiddling with my phone because I'm turning the heating off. Now we have the sweeper, but we don't have anything in the graveyard that it can trigger off. We have that, which is one in the graveyard. So um, we are happy to take one a turn and draw. You've got another borrowed time, mate. Ooh. Oh, they're playing a massive deck. Oh, they're friend. They can have Angel. There we go. Ah, uh, see, I'm all relaxed now. Me with my pony sleeves, and then with their hundred and God, how many would it have been? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, one, ten, one, twelve. Yeah, 180 cards. 180. They play darts. Um, Where's Murray Campus go? We haven't got any dragons. I wouldn't mind a dragon in hand. Yeah, you just... Ooh.
I, I approve. Janky arena only cards. See, this is the first person I've actually been happy that I'd lose to, but I don't think we will. Um, yeah, so I have we got anything worth doing? Memory Deluge is kind of better as a card than um, a sweeper. I'm genuinely worried. They didn't pay for that, did they? You should always pay for that. Um, well, I can get things back on it, so let's just... Sorry, Memory Deluge. <sighs> Whoosh. Let's get x -Dialed. There's a preponderance of reanimated X in the format. And now it can't use it. That's an instant, isn't it? Yeah. So we can now do four damage with Dragon's Fire. Oh, that was not what I was expecting that to be. I mean, kind of glad we kept this now. Because that did one more damage than we needed. I didn't cast that. The sweepers are the best part of this deck. Plus the fact that you get burning down the house by Tom Jones stuck in your head every time you play it. Oh. Um. Did we just start hitting them? On dark side. Ooh. I always get confused when that happens. Why why can I suddenly cast things? Oh. No Celestis to draw cards on. Let's draw a target artifact. Oh. Did we just pop that and make a treasure? I think we do. No, we can't. Uh, no, oh, yep. Okay, choose this dragon here. Let's dragon this dragon. Bye now. <sighs> so we actually won one. That's good. That is that is good. I mean, ordinarily I'd be stopping YouTube and starting YouTube to make it look like. Um, I played less games than I have, but because I'm streaming, I haven't bothered. Um, my partner is on a bus home, so this will be my last game. And then, if I can figure out how to do it, I can raid somebody. God knows how you do that in stream. I mean, ooh. 17 unread notifications, 65% drops, drop frames. I don't even know what that means. I'll watch my VOD afterwards and see what happens. So that is untapped because of that. That is the back. Oh, we've got Shaken Faith. One of the reasons that's in, because the art's really good. The red curse from the new set is so much better than that one that, um, frankly, it's embarrassing. I mean, there are certain decks, like little white decks, where you want to play it. Yeah. See, if you're dumping your hand, I'm going to put the curse of shake and faith on you. We don't have a sweeper in that. But, um, what's the wood on that wood one? Yeah. Complete us next turn. Um. Oh, it's very fun. But I enjoy this deck. There's, I mean, I'm not going to say it plays like a commander deck, but it is very... The things what happen are different. Uh, I didn't want to kill them. Keep showing you the same mountain. Um, oh, I think I have to Dragon's Fire. And because we haven't got the day-night thing turned on, that's annoying. Um, 
just because it's going to be so much harder to kill next time. So, we didn't draw Curse of Shaken Faith against the person who wanted to play two spells a turn. Jesus. They've always got the Valkyries. Um, I'm Dragon. Hey, I like it when they have to have a look at the card. Which one's that again? Is that me? I'm wondering if they're playing the sweeper. Sweet if they are. Um, playing that gives me two mana. I can't do anything for two mana. But if they're just passing the turn, that gives me massive mana. Uh, we will decline. So this gives me the opportunity to discard flashback spells if they don't cast things. I mean, I barely understood that, but yeah. Um, we can make a treasure, can't we? Ordinarily, I'd be very tempted to do that. But... Do we still want a treasure? I think we do. So, it's basically draw two when you cast a multi colored spell. There are three colored spells that I think I could stretch to put in here, but my suspicion is that there is a multicolored set coming. That's unfortunate. We've basically fought this deck twice now, haven't we? Decline? Because it's only one. That's what we need. He's not night though, is he? Um, I think we just lose. I think it's unfortunate, but... <laughs> Decline. Moon Val Regent. We click decline. I suppose now they've got to attack with at least two things. I mean, the deck's fine. It's slightly more interesting than the standard version of that. So um, I'm not going to complain. But uh, we only won against the 180 card deck. That's embarrassing. So I am going to end the stream, but I'm going to see if I can do it through the online thing on Twitch and see if that lets me raid somebody. So apologies to anybody who actually is watching live, but I'm going to end the recording now and um, hope to see you all soon.